Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Got another spooky one for you guys today in the spirit of Halloween. So this is Arachnophobia, created by Libes. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so this was sent in by one of our Discord advanced builders and diamond patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Libes. You're helping to keep the show go on. And he says, Arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. Hey, oh, Johnny, this is my first coaster blueprint just in time for Halloween and the spooky pack. Get ready for near misses and tight turns as you try to avoid spiders and their fangs. Try to overcome your arachnophobia or find yourself in an unescapable web and spiders next meal. Hope you enjoy it and any feedback is welcome. Thank you for reviewing and keep up the good work. All right. Thank you so much, Levy's. Let's take a quick look at his workshop page. So here it is, Arachnophobia by Levy's. Come over here, guys, and give it a rating, favorite it, subscribe to it, and all that good stuff. All righty. So here we are, Arachnophobia. Look at that creepy sign. Ugh. I am not a fan of spiders, guys. I really do not like them, especially these creepy black widows. Ugh. So I'll take you through the queue here. Lots of spiders hanging out about this queue. And right up into the mansion boarding station. Look at this, got wallpaper in here. Pictures, books, awesome. All right, let's look at the overall. This is a huge footprint. I mean, ginormous footprint on this coaster. 4K. Yeah, um, I guess my first suggestion would, would have been it feels... The spaces in between are a little... I mean, I guess it's because you're using all these dead trees. But something about it feels a little bit bare. Um, if you were to compact it a little bit closer together, which I think you could have, um, then you could have had some nice fencing along the sides, kind of like the fences used here, or, you know, there's lots of new spooky fencing done in the pack, uh, the new spooky DLC. I think you could have just pulled it in, <laughs> some rock spider. Uh, I definitely love how you put the spider webs around uh, the coaster like this. That is a really neat idea. We got one here right at the big inversion. Okay, this is awesome. It, it, this is, it crosses under and then this one goes over. I think this is the torque launch coaster then, because I'm pretty sure that's the only one in the game that can do this. I'm very curious to know why he uh, built these rock spiders. Oh no, there's a drat in here. <laughs> Skeletons. I, I, when we did a spooky blueprints, I saw somebody use the oval-style snowball as a little, um, I guess, a wrapped-up larva, or what do you call them, cocoons? I don't know what you call a wrapped-up thing. A, a spider <laughs> treat. It's a very cool idea. What's up with the building over here? I guess this is just added scenery. Interesting. Yeah, I, I like the concept. I just feel like it might be a little bit too big for most people's likings. When you're trying to build a park, it's going to take up a, a it's you're going to need a lot of space to get this to the fit right. Um, I think what you could have done is just pulled it in a little bit more. So there's a lot of space in between, but that's all right. I think uh, I think it'll work. Some people do like the bigger coaster blueprints, and uh, it, it definitely is a spectacle. <laughs> so let's jump back to nighttime here. I like the glowing red spiders. Maybe what you could have done with this house here is turned it into some sort of um, little shopping area. When the guests get off the coaster, they come over here. Very nice. Let's take a look at the stats on this. So we have a torque launch coaster, 7.74 excitement, 5.8 fear, and a 2.69 nausea. And here's the rest of the results if you want to see them. And let's uh, jump on this. Another thing I noticed while loading this thing up, there's only one train on this entire coaster, which is going to cause a lot of downtime and congestion in your queue. 
queues, a lot of wait time. I would definitely try to put two trains on this. All right, let's go. Awesome. Um, yeah, because you're not using the reverse launch mechanic where it pulls the car, uh, the train back, that's the only reason that you wouldn't be able to get a second train on this. But because you haven't used that mechanic, you will definitely be able to get uh, maybe even two or three trains running on this at one time. I would definitely do that. try out the track view for daytime.
And there it is, everybody. Arachnophobia created by Levies. Definitely love this concept. Uh, theming things with the spiders. The spiders wrapping up the coaster like that. Uh, laying their nest inside the, uh, the coaster here. And uh, it's a really cool concept. I, I do feel like it could be a little bit smaller of a footprint. Some of the uh, track could be pulled in a little bit tighter. And, and that's pretty much my only feedback for this one. I do love the theming and the concept of it. We haven't really seen a spider themed coaster yet. So very nice job on that and capturing the essence of arachnophobia. So very good job there, Leebies. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. If you guys would like to support the show and keep it going, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.